Today it is Wednesday, and we're about to do some, uh, some dog training today. I just woke up, so now it's time to have a little bit of breakfast. Or actually, just I'm gonna just drink some, uh, drink some what you call them. Man, I'm really sleepy. Are you sleepy too? Are you sleepy too? Uh, I think that's a yes. <laughs> you know, this whole thing with the darkness in the winter and all that, it just makes you kind of disoriented in the morning. But uh, I sleep well and I sleep enough. And now I'm gonna drink some supplements. Then I'm gonna go feed the dogs. And then it's time for me to do some exercise. Go for a cold swim. So I'll show you how that looks. And then I'll load up the dogs and go get thunder. And we're gonna go train the dogs. And we'll go quite far away. It's about a two hour drive, so let's get started. Now you with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> You do this every morning? Every morning, for about a year now. I was actually uh, inspired by one of my friends. And my motto when you go in the water, no matter what time of the year it is, is, you know, just like Nike, just do it. Don't think, don't feel, just do it. Okay, Houston, we got a little problem. This is how much meat should be in the bucket and this is how much there is because we got a fat cat living out here somewhere who is stealing our food. Home sweet home. There we have Sahara waiting nicely for us. Hey Sahara. Hey, what are you waiting for us? Zara, so nice you are. Oh, so nice you are. Huh? You ready to get some breakfast? Me? Zara, you ready to get some breakfast? Hmm? Breakfast. I spilled some food here while I'm preparing the buckets, but luckily I brought a tool with me, which is the Sahara 2000. Hey, she's now starting operating procedure about to go to work and there you go the sahara 2000 in action scanning what is it not good enough oh okay so should i spill some better tasting food for you oh whoops i spilled it there we go needs a little bit of convincing but there we have the sahara 2000 in action cleans up doesn't complain and when you're done with her just fold her up and put her under the bed Sahara 2000, call now, get second one for free. Nom 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 nom. This is the neighbor's dog. Bonzo. Bonzo is actively defending his house. He's not dangerous, he just barks a lot. He's kind of sweet. Same as before, first things first. Winter golfing.
All of these dogs always have so much to say in the morning. That is a typical, typical. Shush. Hey, hey, Peter. Oh, you see, that's what I mean. This is a typical husky thing, right? All these huskies always blah 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 blah. blah. They say dog is like the owner. Yeah, I like to talk. They don't really scream for food or something like that. All right, let's feed them. In the morning, we give our dogs kind of a light soup. This is just to hydrate them for the day. And then in the afternoon, evening, we give them a more like heavy soup with more fat and protein. This way we can ensure that they have enough hydration in the system before we start running them. And at the same time, we can give them enough calories and enough fat and protein later on during the day when they're sleeping, when they're resting, when they're really like, you know, absorbing all of this food. This dog right here in the corner, legit, he has the most to say whenever we are feeding. Together with his sister over there, Jenna. Yeah, that's Jenna. That's Melis. Hey, Melis. Always talks. And then you got Yama over here, who's just like, I'm quiet. Can I have food now? But not you, Melis. You are always a noisy boy. Very mouthy and very noisy boy. So the closer I get with the food, the more noise he'll eventually end up making. Here I am feeding the neighbor. Yeah? Am I allowed to feed her or should I just come straight to you? Hey, me this. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Feed me. Feed me, human. I haven't eaten in weeks. Feed me, human. I haven't eaten in weeks. Like, you'd almost think that I never feed these guys, right? These guys. I think we should start a separate YouTube channel just for Melis. What's going on with Melis today? What stories would you like to tell us today? Melis. Hey. Hey. He's a super funny dog. He's super happy. I'm a little, I've become a little bit immune to his charms. But uh, I still like him a lot. Hello. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Here you go, big guy. Eat. Eat before it gets cold. Oh, Yalmar, did we wait so long to give you food? Come on, then, buddy. I have to give you some food, too. Oops, sorry. Scrape some of that. There we go. Breakfast. Great. Feeding complete. Yeah, Magna. You Clyde. Now it's time to let these whippersnappers loose. So we're gonna release them. They're gonna start running over to the, to the trailer, up in the garage, and then we'll go training. That's how simple it can be. You ready? You ready? You ready for some training? You ready for some training? Mm? Cutie. Off you go. Next, next customer. Now we have all the dogs with us that should be with us. The ones that are not with us are a little bit complaining, but that's okay, they'll get over it. And let's make our way up to the trailer and put them away before they eat my llama that's hanging in the, in the garage. Wait, let's close the window. Yeah. It's not like it's that warm outside, right? All right, all the dogs in the car. I have some food, I have some drinks. The weather is amazing. Look how dramatic. Norway, you never disappoint. Time to pick up Sander. Hello guys, are you excited to go on a trip? I think they're pretty excited. Let's go. Come on. 